Hello everyone. It's great to see you again and I am so glad that you could join me today. I'm very excited because today is the day that I am going to harvest the carrots that you and I planted together back in April. I have delayed harvesting these carrots because I wanted to give them time to reach their full potential. But now a few of the carrots have bolted, so it's definitely past time to harvest. To my surprise, this bolted carrot actually looks beautiful. You guys, this is really exciting. As you might recall, we planted these carrots from pelleted seeds that I bought from Johnny's Seeds. Pelleted seeds take a very long time to germinate because they have to first break down the clay coating. This is lovely. Another winner. And by the way, the carrot tops are edible too. We might make carrot pesto later today. Well, here's an example of a carrot that bumped into a rock. So it split in two. Still good, still edible. I feel like a little kid opening birthday presents. See, this is a good snacking size. Some carrots grew quite large, others grew quite small, but I'm happy to have all of them. I should mention that here in New York's Hudson Valley, the spring and summer of 2023 has been less than ideal for gardeners. Our heat wave in early May was followed by a hard frost in late May. This month, July, has seen torrential rain. A devastating deluge over the 4th of July weekend brought such severe flooding that people in certain communities were forced to evacuate their homes. I want to thank everyone who sent prayers my way during the most recent storm. I really appreciate your kind words. Here's one of the gold carrots from the rainbow mix. It's very strange, but all of the gold nugget carrots I have pulled have been very small. If you have any idea why that is, please drop me a note in the comments. Here's a rather respectably sized gold nugget carrot. If you want perfectly shaped carrots, you have to have perfect soil. Soil that is free of any pebbles or rocks. This is really heavy. I'll bet it's 30 pounds. I'm going to bring the carrots inside and then we can make carrot top pesto. Meanwhile, I have to figure out what to plant in this now empty bed. If you have any thoughts, let me know. It's mid-July, I'm sure something will grow. I'm going to get some of these carrots cleaned up right now. And then for dinner tonight, I think we should make cod fillets with roasted carrots and carrot top pesto. I have to wash the greens really well. For the roast carrots, you want to preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius. 
and my carrots were organically grown and I've really cleaned them well. So I'm not going to peel them. I'm just going to put them on a baking sheet lined with parchment. So I'm going to trim off the end root. And I left a little bit of the green at the top because I think they will look pretty that way. Change of plan. Instead of putting them on a baking sheet, I'm going to put them in a baking tray or baking dish. Drizzle of olive oil and salt and pepper. Roll them around to coat the carrots on all sides. It's very easy to do. Into the oven. Carrots this size will require probably 30 minutes. On to the pesto. I'm going to blot the thoroughly cleaned leaves in a kitchen towel. Yeah, if you're making carrot top pesto, make sure you're using the greens from organically grown carrots. As you can imagine, there are no exact measurements for this recipe. I'm using the greens from about six carrots here. Plop them right into a food processor. Add two to three garlic cloves or the equivalent in garlic paste. Then add a handful of sliced almonds. The juice from half a lemon. A big handful or about one cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And salt and pepper to taste. I will add those seasonings after I've blended the pesto. Now, I'm going to pulse the machine a few times just to break up the ingredients. Then, with the machine running, I'm going to add just enough olive oil to create a nice thick paste. I want to have a quick taste. It's delicious, and I have not even added any salt or pepper yet. Now you can adjust the seasonings to suit your own taste. I'm going to transfer the pesto to a little bowl. You can freeze this pesto. And our pesto is made. Well, since my food processor is already messy, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the greens from the carrots I cleaned up today. And then I will put this batch in the freezer. Then I can have carrot top pesto any time of the year. Here's the second batch of pesto that I'm putting in a freezer container. For a cocktail party in, say, January, I will pull this out of the freezer and serve it. And what a novelty that will be. Oh, my carrots took longer to cook than I had anticipated. They've been in the oven for close to 50 minutes. They're becoming tender, and I wish you could smell my kitchen. It smells like caramel, because, of course, the carrots are caramelizing in the oven. So here's my cod. I have two fillets here, and all I'm going to do is drizzle them with olive oil. Then I will dust the fish with salt, pepper, and paprika. I won't make it easy for you now. 
and I am going to lower the oven temperature to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius and these will be done in about 10 minutes. And here are the carrots. They smell just divine. I can't wait to taste them. Let's enjoy this meal in the Serpentine Garden. This is definitely casual dining tonight. This carrot is so tender. The roasted carrots are delightfully sweet. And the carrot top pesto definitely complements the carrots as well as the baked cod. This is a yummy combination. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I was really excited to harvest all of those carrots that we planted back in April and really delighted that most of them turned out perfectly well. If you like this video, I hope you will give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and be sure to tap the little bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. And again, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I will see you in next week's video.